Kelsey faces striking specialist Julia the Jewel Bud. And now making her way to the cage, weighing in at 146 pounds. Her record stands at two wins and one loss with one knockout to her credit. She specializes in Muay Thai and submission grappling. Fighting out of Port Moody, British Columbia, Canada. Introducing Julia the Jewel, Bud. Julia Bud has a BA in kinesiology from the University of British Columbia, working on getting her financial degree. Also works as a personal trainer and nutritionist. Also a fitness model who's looked into getting into acting and stunt work. So keeps herself very busy. And uh, of course, she will have her hands full here tonight with the undefeated Olympic bronze medalist in judo. Yeah, not much she doesn't do. And the last time we saw Julia Budd was when she fought a revenge match against Dutch terror, Jermaine DeRondami, who had stopped Budd previously in a Muay Thai match. In a display of savvy strategy, Budd put Durant Ramde on her back, neutralizing her legendary stand-up. The ground upon led to Bud taking a risk with an arm bar, but Ramon Day proved durable in the rough and tumble affair. It did more than hold her own in the mixed portion of the bout. But the constant pressure from Julia Bud in staying close smothered the offense of Jermaine DeRondami's offense, causing the judges to award Bud a unanimous decision victory. But I can only believe that Bud will employ the opposite game plan against Ronda Rousey. And Bud knows what Ronda Rousey brings to the table and feels she has the antidote for the situation. What I've seen on Ronda is that she's got great submissions. Um, she's fast, and uh, I'm going to capitalize on that by putting pressure on her, getting her going backwards, and using my Muay Thai skills. And her opponent across the cage, fighting out of the red corner, weighed in at 146 pounds with a record of three wins and no losses. All three wins coming by way of submission. She specializes in judo. Fighting out of Venice, California, please welcome the undefeated Rowdy, Ronda Rousey. Her calling card in all six of her MMA bouts, three amateur, three professional, has been the armbar taught to her by her mother when she was 12. Her mom, Anna Marie DeMars, the first American woman to win the world championships in judo. And of course, Ronda Rousey, a highly decorated judoka in her own right. She really has a storied career in that sport. And Ronda Rousey burst onto the Strike Force Challenger scene by taking on a very durable Sarah Delelio who had only lost once in her professional career. Rousey jabbed her way into the tangle and worked to maintain the clinch until she gained control of a limb and then leapt in for a flying armbar finish. Delelio shouted out in anguish after having her arm torqued, forcing the referee stop, to perceive the cry as a verbal submission to jump in and stop the fight before more serious damage was done. Delelio had some questions about the call, so certainly Ronda Rousey wants an even more clean-cut victory here tonight against Julia Budd without any controversy. And Ronda Rousey knows what she does best and doesn't plan on changing a thing against Julia Budd. Well, I, I feel like I, I definitely have a, the biggest edge, you know, um, uh, in, in the grappling area. If I'm, if I'm clinched up or on the ground, I know that she's in, in major trouble. She's only just started to play catch up in, uh, in the ground game, just like I've just started to play catch up in striking. And um, though all my fights so far have ended in on bar, I, I really don't know how this one's going to go. I'm constantly improvising when I fight, and uh, you'll just have to watch to find out. Here are the numbers in tonight's co-feature in the women's featherweight division. The Olympian Ronda Rousey is four years younger, but it's Bud with a one-inch reach advantage. She's going to have to stuff a few takedowns to take advantage of that. This women's featherweight bout is scheduled for three five-minute rounds. Our referee in charge, Kim Winslow. Got please. Are you ready? Are you ready? Fight! Another illustration of just how far the sport has come. Two ladies going at it with a female referee, Kim Winslow, and immediately Ronda Rousey closes the distance on Julia Budd. 
This is exactly where Bud does not want to be. Because that might happen. She is nonstop, man. And she is all mouse. over people. A whirling dervish, a rowdy Ronda Rousey. I going told her, and already going for the arm bar. Belly down arm bar here. Oh my goodness. This is unbelievable she if she gets his here. Holy cow, that's dislocated. It's over. Oh, unbelievable. Oh. Ronda Rousey does it again. I don't know if I've ever seen anything like it. Four wins, four arm bars, four first round finishes. She sublex that joint. She learned from her last fight, unfortunately, for Julia Budd. Uh, Rousey have to uh, take it easy on her last opponent and tell the referee she had the arm bar. She wasn't doing that with a dangerous opponent like Bud. She sublexed the joint and finished her. Wow! That girl is scary. <laughs> well, Morrow and I used to call a fight for Jeeva Santana, whose nickname was the Arm Collector, but now Ronda Rousey surely has to give him a run for his money on that nickname. Yeah, I'll put Rousey against that arm bar record any time. <laughs> There's Judo Jean LaBelle, one of the greatest grapplers in American history. And he had his stopwatch out. <laughs> He's uh, been in a million movies. He was the first, one of the first MMA guys. When he was young, he was going up against boxers. Uh, the guy's truly a legend. Here it is. She's, she's just saying, I'm going for it, man. She's got the mount. She could punch. She takes the arm. She goes belly down. I think what happened here is Julia Budd lost the elbow. It's broken already. It's been dislocated. Not a whole lot more damage gonna be done to it so she can keep fighting out of it, but it's trashed. That's a flamingo knee right there, buddy. There she is, steps back in and trips her, going from the headlock right into the little trip, dumps her straight to the mount. You don't want a world-class grappler on top of you in the mount that fast. Right away transitioning, staying tight, switches to the arm bar, and just goes, puts the power on the arm. She's not playing games at all. That girl's playing for keeps. Arms already dislocated before they turn over. Referee realizes it finally and stops the action. Ronda Rousey is no joke, Pat. I mean, this woman can really, really fight her own way. She forces each opponent to do what she wants. And you got to take into consideration, when you look at Julia Budd, she's a physical specimen. She's a very strong girl. She just ripped her arm in half in a matter of seconds. All right, ladies and gentlemen, an arm bar ends this bout as the fighter taps out at 39 seconds of round number one. She is the winner by submission, the still undefeated Rowdy Ronda Rousey. Rowdy Ronda Rousey. At the beginning of the telecast, I told Pat Militich that viewers might want to super glue their eyelids open because your fights, well, they last about as long as Kim Kardashian's marriage. And my friend, four <laughs> fights, four wins, four first round arm bars. You're known as the Rowdy one. I think arm bar assassin might be more appropriate. What did you think of this fight? Um, I got tagged a couple more times than I would have liked to, but. Um... No, no, I'm stoked. That was really good. And um, I'm glad you guys are cheering for me this time. <laughs> Rhonda, you said uh, during your media appearances all week, win or lose, you were going to go down to 135 pounds and set your sights on Misha Tate. After tonight's performance, is that still your future plan? Yes, that's still what I want to do. If Sarah Kaufman's next in line, please strike first. Let me get a crack at her first. I really want to have a title fight against Misha Tate, and I don't want to take a risk on her losing. Please give me a crack at Sarah Kaufman first, and then Misha Tate. I swear I'll put on a good show. <laughs> well, there you have it. She is the rowdy one. She is the armbar queen. Rowdy Ronda Rousey makes it four straight wins to kick off her professional mixed martial arts career. You know, Strike Force has produced a constellation of mixed martial arts stars. Some of them have already reached the top. For others, it's just a matter of time.
けろ左手だけ気をつけろ左手だけ止まっちゃう左手だけさてさてさて立つことがある立つことがある初めから足関節すごい狙ってたんでそれが決まって自分としては良かったかなっていうのはあるんですけど自分との戦いだなっていうのがあってあのプレッシャーとかあったんであの自,分自分自身に勝,なんだろう自分自身に勝,ち勝てば気持ちに勝てば絶対勝てるって自分を信じたんでだから。あまり渡辺さんどうのこうのというよりも自分の気持ちが今回なんだろう引かなかったのが勝てたポイントかなって思います。一つの試合が終わり勝者と敗者が決まる定まってしまった序列この序列を覆す戦いが
他団体へと拡大していくのはまだ先の話